Hello Lego fans, this is Sep for This Is Toys with some Lego reviews this time around. Uh, for the next three days we'll be taking a look at several Lego Star Wars sets and this time we're taking a look at the other 2012 Battle Pack, the one we hadn't reviewed yet, the Endor Rebel Trooper and Imperial Trooper Battle Pack. There we go. So, get to all the features and all in a moment so but we'll take a look at the packaging first you get the 9489 number of course the 6 to 12 ages thing I'm 4 years old and 12 um, uh, and of course Andor Rebel Trooper and Imperial Trooper on the top of the packaging here you get an image of one of the new minifigures I set all of them in their own way are new actually, but I'll get to that in a moment. And the back of the packaging showing features and all in this set. Uh, I think on this side of the packaging. But like, like I said, back of the packaging with all the features and all. Um, first thing I'll go over is what a new me figure is just tilting the camera a bit. Um, and that is the Stormtrooper. Now I have to say, I wasn't exa exactly too sure how new this minifigure was until I got this set. I knew the torso print had been redesigned, certainly from the Eurovix community forum. Um, but that's not the only new thing. Uh, I'm not actually too certain if the helmet is new, but there's actually a new Stormtrooper face underneath. Um, while I like faces when they come to the clones, I mean... Lego have been doing stormtroopers with blank heads for so long. It just seems kind of unnatural to end that and give them faces now. It, and we never even see any stormtroopers take their helmets off and their faces in the movies, as far as I'm aware. I know I haven't seen the original trilogy movies for a bit now, but I'm fairly certain we never see a stormtrooper face. So I'm not really a fan of the idea. Uh, and it kind of does, it, the face is weird, I have to say, the expression is just kind of crappy and cheesy, to be honest, I mean, yeah, I didn't actually know a bit the face until this video, um, until I got this set, I should say, he does come with a weapon, a blaster, um, it's about it as far as a stormtrooper goes, it is new, certainly, but, it's not really that exciting, I have to say. Not really something that makes me go wow. In fact, the whole set as a whole doesn't make me go wow. Really. It does have everything that really stands out and makes you go wow. This set is just fantastic. Um, not like the Clone Wars battle pack and what the Arc Trooper and the Commando Droids get gives you it. That that battle pack gives you that feel at least a couple of times, but. This set is just kind of bland. It is good for troop building, I will give you that, but it is a better troop build than the Clone Wars one because you can't really troop build a named trooper and the Arc Trooper is based on a specific Arc Trooper design, so you can't really troop build that. But anyway, um, the Scout Trooper, I'm not entirely sure how new this is, but it's slightly new in the fact that he also has the face of doom <laughs> but like I said the expression is kind of cheesy um, and I'm not really a fan of it but you know we should just take the head off turn it around and actually looks like I've got the normal scare trooper minifigure back again um, I've just compared a torso print to these two minifigures actually both are different torso prints actually I have to say and I've actually just noticed this as well. The Stormtrooper uh, one has no back printing, but the Scare Trooper one does. That's pretty interesting. Um, I didn't really notice that before, but... Yeah, I'm not really too sure, aside like, from the face, how new this is. The helmet might be a bit different as well. It kind of feels a bit different to previous Scare Trooper helmets, but I'm really not too sure, you know. When it comes to Lego, there's very few original trilogy sets I buy, and sometimes prequel trilogy. Uh, my main Lego focus is the Clone Wars, which is why I haven't bought as many Lego sets this year as I did last year. I bought loads last year because 
they had so many Clone Wars ones, but this year is kind of different, I have to say. I mean, there's only like two in the first wave, uh, and only three in the summer wave, so it's really going down on my Lego interests, really. And you also get a couple of new Lego and or Rebel Troopers. I actually show you both of them. Um, I actually was under the impression before I got this set that they were both like the same except for different faces. They're actually entirely different. I'll show you this one first. I know one of them is based on an Indiana Jones face or well, not Indiana Jones himself, Lego, but uh, some character from the Indiana Jones theme. I'm not really sure which one it is. I I really don't want to speculate and say this is the one because, you know, I don't want to be made to be stu look stupid on the internet, so. But he comes with a couple of accessories. You get uh, macro binoculars, I think that was, um, and a pistol. So, kind of cool. The torso printing, I have to say, is really nice, and so is the back printing, detailed really well. The helmet comes off and is pretty nice as well. And there's a better look at the face. So, yeah. And now onto the other trooper. He comes with a sniper rifle. And, like I said, his print is actually different. The helmet is the same. Yeah, the helmet is, ac it is actually the same. And there's the face underneath. And the torso printing is even better than the last one, I have to say. I like this design a bit more. A lot more, actually. Kind of looks cooler. And same with the back printing. I think the design of this one is better. It, it's not better, but I just think the design looks cooler. And all that. Um, another th couple of things you get, which are like the vehicles and kind the set, because, you know... Hasbro are happy with Lego, like, releasing minifigures on their own. That's why Lego got the idea of battle packs. You get four minifigures as well as a couple of added fiends or one added fiend. And with this set, you get another redesigned Imperial Speeder bike. How many of these do we have? Have Lego release? I mean, it's like Lego have a fetish or something with um, the Imperial Speeder bike that, like, Hasbro has with back speeders. Um, because they release so, because Hasbro released so many bag speeders and Lego released so many of these and they're all all in their own way I guess new I think. Um, I'm fairly certain that one in the Ewok attack set released in last summer it doesn't have this on the back and I think a few other things are different. But as I don't own Ewok attack, um, I really can't be too certain. Um. I'll just show you briefly the Scape Trooper on the speeder bike. Not that hard to fit him on. And it does look, he does look kind of cool on it, I guess. Um, well, Scape Troopers are my favourite kind of troopers, variations in the Imperial Army, so of course I'd say they'd look cool. Stormtroopers just fail so badly. Um, yeah, that's a bit of it for the speeder bike, really. I'll just show you an upside down view. And next up is this tree and tree missile like thing. And this is really the one flaw I have with this set. It's just so poor and randomly thrown in. I didn't have taken enough of those Imperial speeder bikes to be honest with this. It's just, oh, I just don't really like it. It's not that bad, it's just that it's so silly and I really don't like it, I have to say. Um has some nice green pieces on there, I have to say. The light green piece there, which is like a tree or something. Um, and the dark green piece there, I kind of like that. But of course, the most the dreaded thing about this really is the flick fire missile. I mean... How many people hate these, the Flickfire Missile in this line? I mean, it, it's just using so many sets, it's ridiculous. I mean, really hate the Flickfire Missile. And so, I just wish Lego would stop using it. I mean, it's gotten old, no one likes it. They just should stop using it. But I have to say that it does look much cooler when you have a couple of rebel troopers placed on it, but... I just don't really like this 
tree thing. So yeah, it's just my opinion. I mean, you may like it, but I'm not really a fan of it. Um, it actually does come with some spare pieces. You get a black droid arm. Uh, another green piece. There's actually one on the tree there. You might have seen it. Um, what are these brown pieces? And... What one of these one of the standard pieces in the Lego line, I think. So yeah, that bit does it for this set. It isn't a bad set, it's a good troop building set. I'll give it, you uh, the original trilogy fans that's a very nice troop building set, but it's just not really exciting or really uh, yeah. And I mean, I know Lego don't like to release named characters and battle packs, but it just so pretty boring, I have to say. Um, I do like the new idea, though, that LEGO had of making battle packs like two factions facing off against each other. It allows for more opportunities for more minifigures in the line, like the Commando Droid. I don't think they would have been released if they didn't do this, actually, this idea. Um... But overall, you know, the set isn't that impressive. Um, I would have much rather to see another Clone Wars one instead of this. Not just because I prefer the Clone Wars line, but there are just so many potential many figures they could throw in. Um, and they're just... These are just... They're new fig mini figures on Finn, yes, but they've pretty much been released before anyway. And while I do like the Rebel Trooper designs a lot, and the Stormtrooper and Scape Trooper look kind of cool as well, it's just not really that exciting. I mean, I'd rather have new Clone Wars ones instead. I mean, I know not all of you will agree, but that that is how I view it, really. Um, and I'm been, really being disappointed by, like, a Clone Wars Lego sets this year. It's kind of turned me off Lego a bit, but hopefully next year they improve. I mean, I'm really holding out for... And then buy a battle pack next year in 2013 for the Clone Wars of Five of First Clones and the Barons. I mean, that would just be a brilliant set. So I hope you've enjoyed this review anyway. Stay tuned for what for a Planet set review tomorrow on the Sebulba's one. So keep an eye out for that. And may the force be with you and happy hunting.